Welcome back to the morning show on this Monday. It's a great day to learn about agriculture in central Illinois. And what better way to do that than with our Ag in the Classroom segment. With me now, Sarah Caper from the Champaign County Farm Bureau Foundation's Ag in the Classroom program. Mm -hmm. Sarah, you're visiting schools, teaching about agriculture, and we bring you on TV to teach us about agriculture. Sure. Talk to us about what we're learning today. Yeah, so we model some of the lessons that we take into classrooms, and everybody's back to school, so we're back to what we do. Uh, January 19th is National Popcorn Day. Is it? Yes, so I thought I'd do something with popcorn real quick. Last time, I, we have done a lesson before with popcorn where we've watched it pop oh, in a yeah. test tube. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a quick one that you can do with kids at school or at home. Uh, this has to do with our corn in Illinois. First of all, we have five different types of corn. We have our field corn, we have Indian corn, we have the sweet corn that we eat, and in um, a certain city in this the state we have broom corn well, our cola yeah, our cola broom that's broom. what I thought yeah. and then we also have popcorn so everybody needs to know the types of corn that our field corn is different than the sweet corn that we eat so and you know this summer we featured some of the research for popcorn yes from Dr. Ohio, Studer. Dr. Studer yeah yes. which was really he is fun the popcorn guy look yeah. him up he's yes. really great Definitely. but this is a great lesson to teach volume right and mm. volume is the oh. space that anything takes up so um, kids can compare I have a jar that says a a jar that says B. Have kids count out a hundred kernels of popcorn. All okay. right, so that's a good activity anyway. I knew we wouldn't have time, so I did it for you. Oh, okay. um, not that you can't count that high. Um, <laughs> I added a hundred kernels of unpopped popcorn, and if you have a scale, you can set it to grams. And um, I have already set and, and subtracted the weight of the jar. So where are we at with the unpopped? This says 276 grams. 276 grams. So I took those same, that same um, count of 100 popcorn kernels and we popped them in my office and we added those. So first of all, visually, you can see that it takes up more space when it's popped. But um, have kids predict what the weight change? I think it's going to be, be less because the steam is water that's being removed from that. You're so smart, oh, Jacob. Man. Let's check. He says it's going to be less. I think. Because from our last lesson, he remembers there's a small a bit of water in an unpopped kernel, and the heat from the skillet or whatever you pop it in causes that water to turn to steam, forcing that shell open. So we what did we say, 276 that on this 276. one? That was 276. Okay. I had a guess. I'm going to say 210. I'd say 25% is gone. Is that right? 274? It's not that much. 270, not that much. It really isn't that much. Very, Very little. nominal amount. These kernels will expand up to 25 times their size. And uh, the weight doesn't change enough, a lot, but it does change. Just barely. Just that, that little, little bit. bit. Yep. You don't need much moisture to Water really make popcorn pop. You don't. You don't. And you'll know old kernels from new kernels because their water may be out or dry, I should say. It's true. Yeah. So, um, did you, you know it's our state snack? It is. Yes. It is it our is state snack. snack. And did you know? in World War II, um, when sugar was scarce, uh, popcorn, um, people who partook, partook in eating popcorn uh, increased by three times. Really? So it became, but it's, a great snack. it's a great snack. Everyone always pictures it for the movies, but sometimes it's yeah. just nice to yeah. have it on the side. There. And, and I'll tell you, you, here's how old I am. In oh, 1982, God. the first microwave popcorn was, in, was invented and brought into homes, and I remember it. Do you? <laughs> Do you? No. I'm not, I'm not, I remember as a kid that we'd get the do little you? round one, the foil. Oh, the Jiffy Pop. The Jiffy Pop, that's right. Yeah, yeah I that's another that. fun thing to do with families. Yeah, that's true. That's really cool. And a great lesson of volume here, comparing the size of things mm -hmm. and the weight of things and whatnot. And again, just the different types of corn, too. A lot of people just think, oh, it's all field corn uh -huh. or sweet That we corn. eat, yeah. But, but it's not. We've got much more than that, including yeah. popcorn. A lot of it grown at the U of I, right here. Dr. Yep. Studer has yep. a great uh, thing that you have some lessons from Dr. Studer. I do, I do. Which is it's another great, great thing too. Yep, we'll be pushing those out soon. Sounds good. If you want to connect yeah. with Sarah and or Julie with Ag in the Classroom here in Champaign County or your local Ag in the Classroom coordinator, we've got all the links to lessons, plans, and more on our website, WCIA.com.